This video is the histology of the adrenal gland. Remember that the adrenal glands are also known as suprarenal glands because they sit on top of the kidneys. Like many other organs, the adrenal gland consists of an outer cortical portion and an inner medullary portion. You can see the medullary portion down here and you'll remember that it produces and secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine. Just deep to this connective tissue capsule, which is often found surrounding organs, we can see the three layers of the adrenal cortex, the zona glomerulosa, the zona fasciculata, and the zona reticularis. Let's take a closer look at these three layers. Here we have the cells of the zona glomerulosa in the adrenal cortex. The zona glomerulosa produces a mineral corticoid known as aldosterone. The next layer, the zona fasciculata, produces the glucocorticoid known as cortisol. Here's the zona fasciculata. And then the deepest layer is the zona reticularis. The zona reticularis has cells that produce gonadotropin corticoids known as androgens which can be converted into estrogens and testosterone. Here again we have the adrenal medulla. The adrenal medulla has cells that are known as medullary chromaffin cells and again that, that produces the catecholamines known as epinephrine and norepinephrine. 